What's going on, Minecraft and YouTube? My name is Preacher. <laughs> I just run into the horse. <laughs> Let's try that again. What's going on, Minecraft and YouTube? This is the second try, and we're about to drop off the edge. Oh, there we go. Yay, look behind us. Look at our... Oh, okay, this is weird. This is weird. <laughs> but we got a cliff. We got a cliff. Yay. <laughs> Ow, wall. All right. So we are we're almost done i've been working harder than a cat covering poop on a marble floor <laughs> all right we have done so much on this uh this cliff and everything and so i wanted to bring you in and talk to you a little bit about it before i get started i'm gonna do a time I, i'm gonna try to do a time lapse okay we're gonna say we're try so what i wanted to do was come in here and finish out i haven't added any details all right right now everything is just contoured i had i killed some skeletons and i bone milled a little strip right there as i walked past uh, but uh that's not detailed at all so what i want to do is i want to go in and finish up this build so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna finish it in an old-fashioned time lapse
What's going on? What'd y'all think of that time lapse? I thought that was an epic time lapse. And look at all of this. It starts right up here. Okay. Uh, the water comes out of the, the, the cave over here from the mountain. It's the, the snow has been melting and it seeps down into the ground and it comes out into this mountain, right into this cave right here. And as that water comes out, you can see I've kind of, I had, I lit it up a little bit. There's a torch in there. Okay. So then that water comes out and it flows down the side over here and Maybe later we'll come back and do a little something more with this. It's kind of a dirt path thing, and and that don't quite look right. But we'll do a little something else with that there later. All right. But let's as it comes down, and then it comes down out of this little little pond. We did do a little bit more with this, and so I like this right here a lot more. Uh, there's just one little stream coming out. Now we can assume that this is like a spring-fed pond or something like right there, and then it just kind of flows out of that down into this then after it flows into here of course it flows down and off the side of the mountain here and splash <laughs> and uh now i ain't gonna lie uh this this water right here this this the whole glass deal that we got going on i literally went over i i tried to do it myself and uh without it without looking back at anything and y'all remember b-dubs waterfall from uh what was that season seven hermitcraft season seven uh i went back over to his world uh, after i after i did it and it didn't look right i went back over to his world and really and truly only thing i didn't do right is i didn't fill it out enough i, I had a lot of the single pane glass and everything but i didn't have is i had like three solid blocks uh, i thought my waterfall was too small for for that big of a waterfall uh but turns out i just needed a lot more a lot more effort and so uh we got a lot more of the uh, of the white stained glass in there and now it looks pretty all right so then the water comes keeps on coming down now the reason why I, i've kind of got a little bit more old growth up in here and this right here is more of like uh like a maybe a grassy area where there's not a whole lot of trees uh some plants and everything growing up over here but not a whole lot of trees my thought is is that occasionally this waterfall floods and washes off the uh the the trees and everything down here but up here where it's where it's at, it, when it used to when the water used to flow through this entire area maybe this was like a little lake type area uh once it broke through the other side over here and created a a, a, a just more or less a river um the old growth up here this this part up here doesn't flood and so uh that's kind of the way that i envisioned the water kind of flowing through and and coming out and kind of snaking through this area and so then we came back up in here and of course added a whole lot more texture up on the walls and uh it's time to sleep and good morning and so uh but that brings me to the next problem we've got to move this thing all right so all these resources and everything that we collected from this dig um i want to collect all of, everything that i've collected into the chest i want to keep okay now all these are here were full and y'all remember seeing the gray uh shocker boxes that were up here i did fill up all those gray shocker boxes even more of those but that brings me to another problem i've i'm i'm going to end up running out of shocker boxes and so because of that i thought maybe i would bring you in and just go show off one of uh one of specter's builds so i know specter's not here and maybe i can schedule some time with him uh to hop on and explain this thing to us uh the viewer and so um but this is a shocker farm uh specter went through all the trouble of going into the uh to the nether yeah oh ow 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 Oh, all right and uh and so the there is a there's like a kind of like a perimeter where we're allowed to be and not allowed to be and uh okay so i just got uh well i was on discord with uh with specter and instead of me trying to uh tell you how all of that right there works uh we're just going to come back here in a little bit and uh and talk with Spectre, and he's going to tell us how all of this stuff works. 
but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take this is how it works see uh, you stand up there for a long time and then you come down here and you get these things right here out <laughs> okay so y'all like my y'all like my professional explanation right <laughs> Okay, so we got a few more shulker boxes. We're going to lay these right here out. We're going to try to clear out some more of this stuff. And I'll check back with you here in just a few. And now that is done. <laughs> so with the help of our uh, our buddy Spectre uh, and his uh, shulker box uh, machine, we have cleared out all of our items. Here, let me go ahead and pick up that. XP, a little bit of gunpowder. All right. <laughs> so as we stand up here next to the cabin and we look down on our, I guess, river valley here. And, you know, we're, we're looking off the edge of the cliff. You know, there's a couple of other things that I want to add. Like, uh, like you looked at here and you see a lily pad. I don't have a whole lot of lily pads. There's other things I want to add, like different. I want to go through and do some different patches of flowers. Like I want to do the allium and maybe some other, uh, tulip colors and different stuff like that. Um, but I just don't have, I haven't went out and, and harvested a whole lot of that. So yeah we'll work on it it's a work in progress so we <laughs> this is kind of the first step in a major build project okay so but i wanted to get the i wanted to get the the foundation okay i wanted to get the foundation done and so this is the foundation we have a nice beautiful scenery that we can come back and put our, our beautiful builds on, you know? Um, <laughs> so, uh, and I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to leave it as a cliffhanger. So if y'all want to see uh, more of this stuff right here continue and to see more things happen, you're going to have to subscribe. You're going to have to uh, follow the channel and, and see what happens. All right. So um, before we leave, though, I want to do at least one other thing. we have finished <laughs> we got it look at there that is a big old beautiful sugar cane farm <laughs> okay um this is i guess based off of all kinds of other designs but this is uh i put this thing together i did not go back and look at any tutorials to do it so there's probably way more efficient ways of doing this uh but this worked for me so anyhow um so what happens is these six observers these six observers right here they put out a redstone signal when the <coughs> sugar cane in front of them grow up now um maybe if i extended this out and made a few more it would be a little bit more efficient and all that there trigger a little bit faster but for the purpose of this s p with three people on it uh that is plenty this is going to be plenty of sugar cane so i don't think i need to be worried about being too much more efficient okay this is not a lossless farm okay uh, you can see down there the ends are open <laughs> so some of the sugar cane gets projectiled out into the field over there and so it just gets it closer to the gunpowder that's what it's for <laughs> that way we can harvest it for the gunpowder and make bottle rockets and stuff yeah i had it planned the whole time that's it <laughs> so we have a simple flying machine down here on the end and that is triggered of course again from the six observers the redstone runs around and runs into this block when it runs into that block it triggers triggers this trap door which is a block change which triggers that observer which triggers the uh, the flying machine now once the flying machine takes off it goes and does this deal now then a signal is sent down here to the minecart system now the minecart system was a little bit different um i know there's a lot more more efficient designs uh one of which is one where it unloads down here at the end and and you don't have to worry about having this entire system up here 
but I don't know how to do that. So I did this. <laughs> hey, there's more than one way to skin a cat in Minecraft, okay? <clears throat> now, what I did is I made a five different hoppers here. Each one of these hoppers feeds back this direction. So five different hoppers here that feed back into these these chests. And as these go down, they pick up all the sugar cane and then they come back and they unload. Well, one trip down and one trip back was not going to be enough. <clears throat> So what I did is I hooked up a, a Etho Harper clock over here. And so what happens is the signal comes out of the observers, comes over here. Once it triggers the flying machine, it also triggers this system, which turns off this redstone torch. The whole entire thing is to turn off this redstone torch. I got a couple of uh, repeaters there so that I extend the, the signal for just a, a minute so that it, it'll stay off long enough for this piston to extend. Once this piston extends over here, it will not retract this torch. Even if this torch comes back on, it's not going to extend until it's done unloading. And so we loaded up our ho Etho hopper clock with a lot of cobblestone. And so that this right here will actually stay extended for a good period of time, which will allow those hoppers to go up and down, up and down enough times that they will unload all of their inventory into these chests. Actually, I tell you what, let's watch it operate. Let's watch it operate for just a second. So as the sugar cane grows up, boom, it triggers the flying machine. Of course, the flying machine takes off. Then this right here turned off for just a split second. It turned off this redstone torch, which then caused this block of redstone to come back. Then the signal comes off the block of redstone and turns the mine carts on. Now, even though this is turned back on, because of the way that mine craft is and doesn't work right all the time <laughs> this is this is like frozen until the uh the this hopper down here fills up once this hopper down here fills up then this right here will extend back and then of course turn off all of these mine carts so as you can tell the the fly machine is still on its way down i don't know it's on its way back so it's on its way back and when it gets back even though it's back, the uh, the hoppers are still going to continue to run. And basically, so now the the flying machine is back, and now the hoppers, you can see that the redstone signal is still there. Uh, the hoppers are going to continue to run. Now, what I did is basically I came down here. I waited for this thing here to fully grow and, and be filled up. And I came down here, and, and I extended that redstone signal out long enough that I could go down here and click on these hopper mine carts and they would be empty and that's just a rough estimate it's not nothing exact okay let's see if we can get a look yep it's empty <laughs> so it should probably actually stop but we didn't have a full we didn't we didn't let the sugar cane grow up all the way as it was anyway so all right, well, that's about it for this video, and uh, I really appreciate you watching. Uh, if you like the video, if you like the sugar cane farm, if you like more uh, builder-grade redstone <laughs> contractions like that there back there, uh, that's what I'm going to call it. I'm going to call that from now on. It's builder-grade. Builder grade. So it's it's not a redstone grade. It's builder grade. Okay. So because I'm a builder, I'm not a redstoner. Okay. But if uh, if you like this video. Uh, please hit the the like button, ring the notification bell, um, so consider subscribing, ring the notification bell, all that good stuff. And if I don't see you again, I hope to see you in heaven.